Okay, so I want to thank Linda for um, giving the first donation and a hundred dollars. Very, very generous. Thank you so much. I can't even, um, like I said, I can't describe to you how awesome that is to me. And I just wanted to show you guys what a life straw was. And here it is. I'm hoping to actually raise enough money to take uh, myself out there, which I've already paid for. And so I'm going. So I'm just asking for help. And I'd like to take a bunch of these also. And what this is, is you stick this in water and you it's filtered. And it takes out all of the, let's see, 99.9% .9 of waterborne parasites. Cryptosporidium, Parvum, Giardia, Lamblia, etc. No chemicals, no electricity, and a thousand liters of clean drinking water. And it removes, um, like I said, 99.9999% of waterborne bacteria. So, pretty incredible device. Um, basically, if there's a puddle of water, you stick this in there and you're good to go. So, you don't worry about. Um, whatever it is that you worry about when you're drinking water out there or anywhere life straws yay so um i had some problems with my video yesterday and there was no audio so i'm hoping that uh, people get a chance to go check it out now that it's working so yeah i'm talking to you so i'm recording this video and I kind of just wanted everybody to know that I'm not going on a vacation, so this this is not a vacation. Um, it's pretty much going to be 10 straight days of work, and I'm going to be out there for a total of uh, pretty much two weeks. I'm going to get there a day early in Manila to kind of decompress from the flight, which is going to take, I think it's like... It's almost like 24 hours just getting there and with the um, transfers in Shanghai. So I'm going to take a day hopefully to rest, fly from Manila to uh, Taklaban and uh, get to work. I hope we just go straight to work and we should be working 10 days straight. So it's 8.30 to 4.30, 5 o'clock. I'm sure we'll go later. And uh, we're going to get a building built. And that's pretty damn exciting to me. So the part that I really is, am uh, super excited about is the uh, potential for the um, sustainability. So they don't, you, with these airships, you just don't need a grid. You can live, you can just live in it. And you would never even have to leave where you're at because it collects water, it grows food. I'm not saying you're going to be living a glamorous life like you're in San Francisco and eating out every night, but you'll be able to survive in this thing. And to me, to me, that's pretty, pretty incredible because it takes care of its own sewage. So you're not polluting. It grows its own foods. So you're not taking up resources. It creates its own heat. You're not running a heater or polluting the air with wood burning or cutting down trees. It um, is solar powered, so that might be one thing that's going to be tough to like make super sustainable. But once you get the solar pa panels in and the batteries in, then you have your electricity. So I'm sure sometime in the future there's going to be a um, there's going to be a Fuel cells is what I'm hoping for, or those little boxes of electricity I've saw on the, um, what movie is that? Anyways, there's just regenerating self-electricity, so that in itself can make a major, major impact on the world. So we're not burning coal, and obviously we know what's going on with the nuclear, and that's that. So we all know nuclear doesn't work. Just, um, I live on the West Coast, so yeah, I'm a little paranoid about uh, radiation. Um, I haven't been eating anything out of the Pacific Ocean, so if you had your own house with your own unit um, generating its own electricity, 
then what are you going to need these nuclear power plants for? If you have your own house taking care of its own waste, what do you need the water treatment plants for? Anyways, thank you for your time. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for sharing this video. And um, off to work I go. I'm, I'm ready to go to work on this thing. So thank you guys.